Hi, I'm Paula Thompson, here with Alicia Fogden with this week's Taking Stock. On our front page this week, we look ahead to the Ramsale season, which kicks off on the Air Peninsula at the Bramana Stud on Monday. Almost 70 Merino and Pole Merino on-property sales will be held across SA in the next 10 weeks. Stud breeders have enjoyed a significant lift in their sale averages in the past couple of years, with many making near the $1,700 to $2,000 mark in 2016. This year, Elders SA stud stock manager Tony Weatherall expects averages and clearance rates to be on a par with 2016, with the only exception in areas of the state where the season has been very dry. SA dairy farmers are reporting continued strong demand for local branded milk, 12 months on since the backlash against a dollar a litre supermarket milk. Flurio Milk Company at Maiponga averaged 12 to 15 new food service accounts a month for the past 12 months since consumers were asked to make the switch to branded dairy products. April sales were 30% up on last year and May was a record sales month for the company. But demand has plateaued as metropolitan customers begin to forget the Support Your Local Dairy Farmer campaign. Barossa Dairy Business Jersey Fresh agreed metropolitan sales had waned but local support remains strong. Its sales had increased 15% in the past year. Croppers in parts of the Lower and Mid-North, York Peninsula and South East were smiling this week on the back of handy rainfall. But the falls were patchy, with many regions still looking for further rain. Freeling had one of the best falls for the week with 62 millimetres, along with Mount Gambier at 63 mils. Weather zone meteorologist Brett Dutschke said that rain and showers in the coming week were again likely to favour the South East and Adelaide Hills regions, as well as Kangaroo Island. This week sees the commencement of the class action against the Federal Government about the 2011 SNAP suspension of live cattle exports to Indonesia. Cattle producers and industry are seeking compensation of up to $600 million. Heading up the public face of the industry's campaign to seek justice is NT Cattlemen's Association Chief Executive Officer Tracy Hayes, who faced death threats only a few hours before opening arguments were due to be heard in the Federal Court. Ms Hayes played, played down the threat, saying the trial would invoke outrage, but also said there had been strong public interest in the lead-up to the trial and most of it had been supportive. If successful, she said it would be the first time a claim had been brought against a minister. A decision, though, was not expected until September. For more on this story and others, make sure you pick up a copy of this week's Stock Journal.